Looking to visit this city of light? From the Arc de Triomphe to the Eiffel Tower, we're counting down the top 20 places to visit in Paris. Arc de Triomphe. The Arc de Triomphe provides one of the most beautiful views of Paris, especially at night. There is no elevator, so prepare yourself to walk up 234 steps. Champs-Élysées. Clocking in at 1.2 miles long, the Champs-Élysées has enough high-end stores, cafes, offices, and famous trees to fill a whole Parisian afternoon. Musée du Louvre. If you don't stop by the Louvre, did your trip to Paris really even happen? The Musée du Louvre showcases thousands of objects from all the way from prehistory to the 21st century. Sacré Cou. This domed white basilica is beautiful inside and out. Make sure to set aside some time to tour the interior and take in the beautiful mosaics and stained glass windows within. Notre Dame de Paris. This medieval Gothic cathedral is the geographical and spiritual heart of France, and it only took 182 years to build. saint jean A jewel of Gothic architecture, the saint jean is home to a collection of 15 glass panels and a large rose window, which come together to form a magnificent wall of light. Eiffel Tower. You've seen it a thousand times in films, shows, and books. But no image can do the Eiffel Tower justice. It has to be seen in person to be truly appreciated. Moulin Rouge. The home to one of the world's most famous cabarets, the Moulin Rouge show features over a hundred elaborately dressed performers. Pantheon. The Pantheon, a burial place for famous French heroes, serves as an early example of neoclassicism with a facade modeled after the Pantheon in Rome. Jardin du Luxembourg. During a tour of Paris, it can be easy to get stuck inside museums and famous buildings. So why don't you get some fresh air at the Luxembourg Garden? Montparnasse Tower. Home to Europe's highest restaurant, Le Ciel de Paris. To get there, you'll travel 19 feet per second in a specially designed high-speed lift. Hold on to your hat. Musée Picasso. The museum collection includes more than 5,000 pieces of Picasso's paintings, sculptures, drawings, ceramics, prints, engravings, personal papers, and notebooks. Place de la Bastille. Once the epicenter of the French Revolution, the Place de la Bastille is still the French capital's most important rallying point for demonstrations, marches, and public celebrations. Maché à Pousse de Saint-Ouen. One of the largest flea markets in the world, here you'll be able to find antique jewelry, furniture, old books, records, vintage clothes, and more. Grand Arch of Defense Part of the Axe Historique, Le Grande Arch de la Fraternité is a 110-meter-high cube-shaped monument and building in the business district of La Diffon. Versailles Palace The Palace of Versailles was the home of French royalty from 1682 until the start of the French Revolution in 1789. Les Invalides, the current tomb of Neapolitan and also a military museum, Les Invalides was originally constructed to provide accommodation and hospital care for wounded soldiers. Musée d'Orsay, home to a dazzling collection of Impressionist art, the museum's structure is in and of itself a work of art. It's the former site of the Gare d'Orsay train station that was built for the 1900 World Fair. Café La Du Magot. Have breakfast where Ernest Hemingway, Albert Camus, Pablo Picasso, James Joyce, and Julia Child all used to hang out. Montmartre. A large hill known primarily for its artistic neighborhood, the White Dome Basilica of the Sacre Coeur on its summit, and as a nightclub district. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.